Hi and good day. Today, we will learn about life cycle assessment of book. Before we start this video, please to like, comment, share and subscribe this video. In this video we will learn about Number 1. Introduction Number 2. Life cycle of book Number 3. Impact of book And lastly, conclusion Introduction Books have been a part of our daily lives since ancient times. They have been used for telling stories, archiving history, and sharing information about our world. Although the ways that books are made have evolved over time, whether handwritten, printed on pages, or digitized online. Now we look at some history of the book. Ancient Scrolls. One of the first books can be seen in the creation of ancient scrolls, going as far back as the fourth millennium before Common Era. These rolled up manuscripts were often made using a papyrus plant. As the popularity of books was increasing, the world turned to a more efficient way of making them. This way is printing. The world's earliest printed book is the Diamond Sutra and although the exact date it was made is uncertain, it has been thought to have been created between the 2nd and 5th centuries. Fast forward to the 15th century and printing had gone mainstream, all thanks to the invention of the printing press in 1439 century by Johannes Gutenberg. This mechanical device allowed for the printing of books, newspapers, and pamphlets to be brought to the masses. In this modern age, the printing and production of books has changed a lot from various aspects such as quality, materials and even the change of physical books to digital, known as e-books. Life Cycle of Book Life cycle of book has five stages. First, material production. Second, product manufacturing. Third, product distribution. Fourth, product use. And fifth, end of life product. Material production. In general, printed books are comprised of paper and ink components. These components are derived from various natural resource stocks such as pulp wood, linseed, and soybean oil. Product Manufacturing The manufacturing phase for the production book system begins immediately following publishing activities. This phase called as document creation. The document is then printed, assembled, and bound whereupon it is ready for delivery. Product Distribution After the book printing operations, the finished product is shipped from the printer to a wholesaler's warehouse and finally to a retail bookstore or library. Additional environmental burdens are associated with the production and disposition of the book's packaging. Product Use After receipt at the bookstore, each book is processed and managed. Bookstores have operating systems in place to help support these activities. A people who does not own a particular copy of a book may wish to travel to the bookstore in order to purchase the book for future use. End of life. When the physical integrity of a book is damaged beyond use or the utility of owning the book expires, the people will usually choose to dispose of the book, book disposition, or resell the book. Impact of book. Impact of material production. Material for produce books such as wood have significant impact on land use. The large amount of wood needed to produce books. It causes a significant impact on land use changes and the loss of naturally growing forests from logging activities to fulfill wood requirements for book material. Manufacturing would seem to be the life cycle sector where there would be the most impact. For the manufacturing of 1,100 books, we can see that there is a huge impact on energy inputs. This is actually the most impactful area of a book's life cycle, accounting for approximately 90% of lifetime required energy. Impact of product distribution. Distribution is a big impact sector. Distribution by transportation is a major contributor in ozone depletion, marine ecotoxicity, and fossil depletion. Impact of product use, for product use don't have any impact on environment determination. 
Books printed require zero energy for product use stage. Impact of end of life. Disposal of book damaged and expired is the biggest contributor in marine eutrophication and global warming contributing to 46% and 15% of the total potential, respectively. Conclusion. Books give us knowledge and information than nothing too informative. However, book production has an impact on our environment from another side. Now we look at some suggestions and recommendations for reducing the impact of books on the environment. Number 1. Change physical book printed to e-book as alternative. Reading 21 e-books from an iPad would have a smaller environmental impact and energy consumption than reading them in printed book. Number 2. Recycling the damaged and expired book. If the book is not useful you can sell or donate. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe this video see you next video.